So let's get our, all our connected users now. I'm going to replace this and I'm going to import our find all sessions, which we have already written over our session storage. So we're going to call over here and write um, find sessions. This is going to be an array. So I'm going to say for each. And inside this, I'm going to create a arrow function. This is going to have all our sessions. And I'm going to say users dot push. Inside this, we're going to have an object. We're going to say user ID. It's going to say session. Uh, not sessions, it's going to be session. Session dot user ID. And it's going to have a username. So session dot username. And whether or not the user is connected or not. And session session dot connected. So yeah, this is going to have uh, all our users inside your here. As you can see, we are already saving a session against our session ID. And we are passing our user object inside, our user details inside. So we are doing the same thing over here. We're just getting all our uh, user information and putting it inside our users array and calling or emitting our user's event which is going to be called on our client side so let's go over to our client side now here uh, inside main.jsx you can see we are have already written uh, some of this code now we will update this at a later stage we don't need this right now so i'm just going to console.log for now let's see what we get inside over here now here there is a slight problem um, while while we are getting all our users, this is going to push my user information to me as well. So whenever I refresh, it's going to show that I have connected inside this users. So in general format, this array is going to go is going to look like this, right? And this is going to say users. I'm going to console.log, so this is going to look like look something like this. It's going to say user ID, blah, 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 whatever. It's going to use a name. I'm going to say Aditya, right? And I'm going to say connected true, right? Because we are uh, getting all this. Yeah, we are passing this user object over here. So it's going to include my name and also And the second value inside this is going to be um, some user ID, username is going to be John, and also connected is going to be true. So keep in mind now if I log in, I don't want to see myself, I don't want to see that I have logged in to me. Uh, does that make sense? Uh, I only want to see that John has log logged in besides me. So I don't want uh, myself uh, inside this array. So I need to put a condition over here before this. So I'm going to say user, uh, sorry, is condition session dot user ID not equals equals um, socket dot user ID. And I'm going to push all of this inside here. Does, that, does this make sense? Um, I hope it makes sense. Uh, I don't want, if I, when I log in, I don't want to see that I have connected as well. Uh, so basically, when we render it's, uh, inside our uh, connected users, it's going to show ourself, it's going to show my name itself as well. So it's basically like, uh, do you want to chat with yourself? 
I, I don't want to say, I, I don't think uh, that's a functionality uh, anywhere to be seen. So I only want John. I only want users connecting after me or that have already connected. I, I hope that made sense. I hope this condition made sense. So now let's check. Here I'm going to say my name and I'm going to go on John's here and make it John. And I'm going to inspect this. I have to refresh this again. This is here connected. See, I, you don't see my name, but you can see John's name. If you go over to John's inspect, you should see my name over here. See, only me. Yep. That is how you want. Now, we're going to render over here that I have connected. And we're going to render over in my window that John has connected. Uh, probably in the next video, I'll do the uh, I'll render uh, which users are connected over here, and then we'll also do uh, the socket event uh, of new user connection, and hopefully we'll uh, sort these uh, chat body chat header uh, nonsense as well. I don't know. I I, I don't like the, seeing these warnings, but we'll we'll sort this out in a later few videos. Yeah. See you guys in the next video.